Welcome back. I decided to record the, my, my approach to the last arch on the moon. Remember, we were uh, there's uh, home base back there, not home base, but um, our moon lander camp. That's where I moved pretty much all the vehicles except for one, and I, I still have a couple of old rovers out there that need to be uh, picked up. As you can see, I replaced the big solar panel that I broke the other day. I uh, just stripped it down off of the drilling machine. It seems like it could run just fine with only one panel. We're about five minutes out from the rock arch. Um, resources look pretty good. I should have no problem. This, this arch was a lot closer to the base. I think it was about 50, 60 kilometers. So I'll have no problem. Uh, round trip with the amount of fuel I have on board. So really, it's just uh, it's just a nice, smooth sailing trip. And if you're wondering why I'm flying sideways, it's because that's where the, the sun is up there, and I kind of had to in order to uh, max out my energy. I don't like this design as much as I thought I would. I, I really think I want to tr try, and I don't know how possible it's going to be, to move this solar panel so it's the same angle as this, so it'll be like a big, uh, basically like a right angle. So that would cover, still cover both directions, and uh, it wouldn't have this awkward downward panel, which always seems to get some shade. And I couldn't get it to work right at all until I just flew like this and figured, okay, I can just fly sideways, right? Like, what's the big deal? Okay, we're actually at the point where you can see the arch. We're close enough we can see the arch. So, what I need to do is make sure I'm on target, which I'm kind of not. I've, it's hard to fly sideways, I've learned. I've also picked up a lot more speed than I wanted to, so it's time to start slowing down. And we have a good two, 2k of altitude to lose. So I'm not worried too much about losing altitude at this point. I'd rather just slow down, get my get my butt down to under 50 horizontal. I also need to kind of aim that way because I got these big craters I have to get around. It looks like. We should. ground seems to be coming up quite fast. I'm going to close this panel. Probably move it out of right this minute. Really, the thing is, I want to stay airborne, so... No idea why I'm losing altitude. I have my ion engines on maximum. Maybe just the, uh, the actual altitude of the. I have to use a little emergency boost here, and this is not going to work if I'm going too fast. I would like to make this last stretch without incident. That reminds me. I should be at 75 or 76. I'll do 76 just to be sure. Let's see, I'm still off target here. What I really need to do is lean this way. Bugger lined up. There we go. Now we're heading right for it. Of course, the real problem now is power. I'm losing it really fast. 
And while I could drive in the last seven kilometers, I really prefer not to. So I think what I have to do. horizontal down about 25 that's good I don't need to go much faster than that I'm gonna try to it's hard to see this but I'm probably gonna have to land inside this yeah I'm gonna have to land inside the creator to get to that, that, that these don't look that tall but from uh, up here they are shutting my RCS off. I've been blowing through it. I have less than half of a tank. Although I shouldn't really need it as much to get back. I am in a nice flat, sort of flat area. Where my home base is. It's not that big of a deal. And I can afford this kind of descent. I don't know if this other panel is this panel doing anything. Like that? A little bit. It's worth keeping out for the last moment. We need to be losing altitude, not gaining, so... Uh, let's see, dumbass me, I'm picking up speed again. That pours on down. Let's see... issues. I can't risk damaging them at this point. I have no replacements on me. So I have two options. Land very, very softly or put the legs down. these boulders aren't real. The rock arch is. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. You know, only when I record it do I screw up like this. You know, I thought I had that perfect. I thought I had that. Try it again. All right, we're back. Attempt number two. Now, last time I had everything lined up correctly. Everything was good. I just had a little bit of a rough landing. Looks like with just this one panel, aimed the right way. I actually have plenty of power. So let's just go ahead and slow down. This is what I'm doing. Maybe a little too much. Shut that RCS off because I need to save as much of that as possible. The only problem with flying sideways is you can't tell if you're actually on target. You kind of have to just educate a guess, like see how the ground's moving, where you're going. Just aim from the hip, basically. I could definitely turn down the throttle. Dude. 
It's actually been a pretty interesting journey. I mean, it's literally taken weeks, weeks of real time to complete the Arch mission. And, you know, this is gonna be it. Once I, once my, uh, once uh, Hoodry EVA is n next to this Arch, that's it. The mission's finally done. I'll get my uh, paltry like 25 grand and 50 science or whatever it is. But, um, you know, I'll finally be able to say I completed this mission. There were three arches spread across the entire surface of the moon, and, and I managed after a great effort to get there. It's funny they don't give you a lot more rewards for this because it's, it's a giant journey. You could take rockets, I guess, and fly around, you know, vertically land in three different spots. And I'm sure that's pretty much what they had in mind whenever they designed this. All right, since we're on the last leg, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, if I can level out, retract the panels and get, get ready for the, hopefully, a soft landing. I'm going to go ahead and throttle up again because we're losing too much altitude. I'm, I won't make that rim. This time I'm going to land without the brakes, because I think that probably had something to do with it. It probably was a little... Besides the speed, horizontal speed was a little too high. I think the fact that I had the brakes on probably hurt. do a descent almost like a like a like a plane. Except there's no since there's no atmosphere you can't put down flaps or use stall to your advantage. It's it's all about controlling your thrusters. And one thing I don't want to do is run into the arch. That's a very likely possibility at the angle that I'm going at. I'd rather go up the hill and smack into the arch. See if I can that probably is going to be about as good as I can get. Really got to line this up. Horizontal speed's pretty good. Let's see if we can slow it down a little bit more. Get this vertical back up. That's my uh, electricity warning. Let's go ahead and make this a softer landing than what it wants to do. In fact, it'll probably run out just in time. Just in time to help me land. Except I didn't want it to do that. What the fuck's it doing? Oh, I see what happened. Alright, check that out. Now that is a landing worth recording. <laughs> what happened was the... Uh, because it ran out of electricity, you think that, that it would cut off all four engines at once, right? But what it did was it decided to just cut off the, uh, uh, I think it was cut off the front ones, or the back ones, I can't remember now, it happened too quickly. But it actually uh, spun, the cra spun the craft end over end because there was all thrust on the one side of the uh, center of mass. So it literally spun it. I, was, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't control it at the last moment. I'm like, shit, I'm going to blow it up, right? Nope. See, I designed this actually to flip over. It is designed, especially with a container on top, or even the bracket for the container, it's designed to flip over uh, as long as you do it at a low enough speed, and it can right itself. So that's one of the reasons why I installed all the thrusters, and it does have a, a wheel, although a small one, a reaction wheel. You really want a small reaction wheel on a rover, because if you have one that's too big, every time you try to do this and turn, you'll flip over. But it does help when you're airborne, like in, in cases where several of your wheels leave the ground, you definitely want to have reaction wheels. A small one is all you need. And I've also found that having this heavier rover with, the, uh, with it being so flexible as it is, it actually helps because it 
very rarely do I break anything unless I really hit the ground hard. <laughs> so I've, I've made some pretty serious jumps in this thing, and um, no problem. I mean, a lot of the times it, it'll take it, and the wheels won't break or anything. And I've had a lot of incidents with wheels breaking for, for no apparent reason, but... This is a really good rover. The only thing I'd like to do is switch that solar panel. And I guess I could try to do that on my way back, before I leave on my way back. We're almost here. I've just been taking it easy. I just make sure I don't uh, flip over or do anything stupid. This is like the moment that I finally get to complete it. Kind of makes you wonder looking at these. Uh, the game makers obviously just made them randomly, probably like, you know, uh, some kind of arch made by extraterrestrials. It kind of makes you wonder why would extraterrestrials make giant arches in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, okay. okay, we're here. We are here. So send as soon as Hoodry goes EVA, he should get the credit. There we go. Maybe this would make for some pretty good gold posts. <laughs> Moonball. That's actually a pretty cool idea. This is my completion rewards. Eh, I like that. Maybe we should fly fly a rocket through the arches. Yeah. Good luck with that. Look, I got uh, 100k. Three science and eight respect. Um, yeah, you know how much this cart itself was. This rover is like 160,000. I've already wrecked one of them. See, so yeah, I wasn't even worth the fuel really to do it, but it was all about the. It was all about the journey. You know, it's not about the rewards. It's about the journey. So I think now what I should probably try to do. Of course, oh, 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 don't bump your head into that solar panel, that's how I lost the last one. Before I do anything else, of course, we were on 76, so 77. That way, if I do something dumb, we'll be safe. Now, this is going to be difficult, because really, this mod is not yet as powerful as the Space Center, where you can modify the, you know, the vehicle buildings. But, we can give it a try. I'm gonna, here's the real trick, is I'm going to have to pull the solar panel off first. And put it somewhere else. I can just stick it anywhere, anywhere it will. Anywhere it'll accept it. Right there is fine. Now, real trick here is going to be to rotate this. Here's the problem, and I just remember that, that what I just did was stupid. Um, in the vehicle and rocket building, uh, you could connect these any way you want, and it, they'll take. Now, this this mod only allows you to connect to root points. So since since that doesn't have any root points, it's not gonna allow me to do it. I don't have any extra spare parts with me that would allow me to do this. But... And I don't know if this will work at all. Really, I, this is going to be a shot in the dark. What's funny is it'll, it'll, it'll actually allow me to catch it. <laughs> That's interesting. That's really interesting. Uh -oh. Last thing we want this to do is start moving.
See, it'll take it now. But will it take it? Will it allow me to do it back? Let's stick this somewhere before it blows up. If it sits on the ground and bounces the wrong way, it's going to blow. And that means the same thing. Fortunately, nothing I can do about it. I'm going to have to do this quick and hope it doesn't blow. It's not going to be pretty. But it should work. See how it's taking it now? I just changed where the node was, that's all. And I know it was about a 45 degree angle. And that's probably about it. It's probably about the best I can get. But it's not gonna be it's not gonna be great. Space bar, not the space bar, the shift key. You can do minute adjustments like that. Let's see if we got that. You know, that doesn't look that doesn't look half bad. It's it's not centered. I mean you can tell I have it I have it crooked. It's it's too far forward. Um, I'm wondering if that's gonna screw up my center of gravity, probably. I could try to clean it up. Try to make it a little bit better, because really it's going to be permanently on here. Yeah, alright. Let me see if I can make it a little bit cleaner. Well, something that flies, it's a big deal to try to keep the center of mass in the right place. Because it's just nothing but constant direction otherwise. So, I think, yeah, it's, it's this that's actually off. You hit X instead of G, because G mounts, and I mean X mounts, and G. This one. And grab it again. And you know, that has to be the center. Right? Yeah, that's pretty centered. get it at 45 degrees. I don't want it to be much higher than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's 45. That's better. shift key to get some minute adjustments. That's probably about as flat as I'm going to get it. Alright, that looks, that looks a lot better. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better. That'll make um, getting back a little easier, I think. I don't know if I want to film the whole thing on back trip. Maybe I'll film just the landing. Because, you know, it is going to be about 15, 20 minutes of me just babbling. So I'll go ahead and cut this. And uh, I'll record the landing in case something fun happens. Okay, we're back. And a um, little bit of a problem. Again, I misjudged how much xenon it was going to take. And it's like we have about three and a half minutes left and it's gonna take almost 10 minutes to get back to base looks like i'm gonna have some serious driving to do and there's really no way around it um i can't even get the other uh carbonaut to grab some xenon and bring it out to me because we don't have another rover and you can't carry it and fly so I'm not going to have any choice but to drive back, and Hudri uh, only has four hours of food, oxygen, and water. So we're going to have to make sure that we get this, uh, that we drive back and we're able to make it home within four hours.
for real time hours. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm going to use the waypoint system to guide myself around the craters. It's just going to be an arduous journey. I should probably start slowing down now. Uh, I just really want to get past this crater section. And I'm going to pull the solar panels in and just bring this thing down for a soft landing. And then drive the remaining 30 something kilometers so you can tell by my voice I'm really thrilled about it but I don't have a choice I really can't lose Hudri and I really can't lose this rover I don't want to have to send for another one I didn't really plan on landing here but I guess this is as good as any Oh, I went way too fast. Hold on to that. Hold on to that idea. Hold on to that idea. There's no way I can land at the speed. New no flipping way. I want to save some on a propellant for maneuvers. Actually, let's go ahead and slow this bugger down. Slow down, slow down. Okay, now I'm at the point where I can... Let's put the frame rate. Like all of a sudden I had this massive... I get this massive frame rate hit for no reason. And this is not a good time for this to happen. What's going on? My computer's not uh, set up to do any defragging or anything right now. This is ridiculous. I can't land like this. I don't know. I'm not in physics range yet. As a sight. Pause the recording for a moment. Well, that was strange. It was Fraps. As soon as I, as soon as I canceled Fraps, it was fine. All right, now that kind of threw me off. Threw me off my game here. I'm gonna need to. I got my horizontal speeds good. It's slow enough. Brakes are off. Vertical speed is too high. At this point, I won't need the solar panels or the xenon, although I left just enough xenon. Actually, I don't have any xenon. Holy crow, did I really land with none? Oh, five. Yeah, that's not even going to be worth trying to jump a crater with. I was going to say, I was going to try to save just enough so that if I run across a massive crater, which I think I'm climbing up right now, I'd be able to fly over it instead of driving around it. Just driving around it. Horse skin paint on that. 33 kilometers. And at 6 kilometers, or 6 meters a second, it says it'll take an hour and a half. This is, uh, I'm going to have to set up waypoints and go take a nap. <laughs> if I'm going to do this tonight, which I'm probably not. I'm probably just going to save it and uh, probably do this another time. It's getting close to bedtime, and I don't really think I'm going to be able to. But what I need to do is at this point would be just to zoom out and plot my waypoints and then let this thing drive. Because it can do it a lot safer than I can. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know, is that it might actually not be too bad. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. 
We definitely don't want to go down that. See, this is this is the kind of stuff you run into that's going to be problematic. And what's even more problematic is that it's not stopping. There it goes. <sighs> so, oh boy. It would have been nice to get past this. You know, I think the waypoint system will handle that without flipping me over. In fact, what I'd want to do is kind of see if I can go that way and go down. I'll show you how this works. It's drifting even with the brakes on. That's great. If I can remember where it was at. Import custom waypoints and export custom waypoints. Oh no, it wasn't the waypoint system, it was inside of. It was Mech Jebs. This is the one that had the waypoints. I don't want to kick any of that in until I'm ready to go. And here goes the five frames a second stuff again. Stability to control you definitely want to have on. Brake on pilot eject. Brake on energy completion. Probably won't happen. Basically, what you do, and the frame rate is so bad right now that I can't really do anything. I'm gonna have to cut this again and bring it back. Hold on. I don't know what it's doing that. Okay, so basically, what I'd want to do is add waypoint, and I think it'll allow me to do it. It will allow me to do it from orbit if I wanted to, since I know that's my destination. Well, the problem is, of course, I can't never zoom in far enough. It's 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 always too far away to actually get any details. But like, so, you know, say I would I wanted to just go. Oh, the frame rate's so bad I can't even use this thing. Let's say I wanted to take this. I can see that's all flat without graders. Well, at least it didn't get to there, right? Point. Because really, what I have to do is kind of go around graders here. is to get rid of that big target. I don't need it anymore. I'll just get the big green X out of my way so I can actually see the surface. Now it would be awesome, really, really awesome if I could set the waypoints from this map because this map allows me to zoom in, but it does not. These two mods don't talk to each other. I'd probably suggest something like that on the forums. See, now I can actually see where the craters are. I don't know 
light's doing it above the surface. That's so weird. But. That should get me around the big stuff. Uh, I set up a lot of this last time. And you can actually... I can save this. And it'll allow me to save all these waypoints in case the game crashes or I wanted to do this leg again later, which I never will again. It, you, it actually saves it outside of the save game itself in its own settings and you could actually bring this waypoint system up again so it's not going to be that much longer to go around the craters we don't have a choice we can't go through them not without flight capability you just crash and burn uh, the hardest part really is just going to be getting down this surface and guess what i mean let's just go ahead and do a save game and give Give, give, give the thing a shot, so. 79. I can stop at any point and save the game and continue later. Uh, we'll go ahead and go for a speed of 10. And hope that uh, that's not going to be too fast. And it should have st stability control should be on by default. Yeah, it is. That's going to take me up the hill a little bit, so that it'll take me around the, the dip. Yeah. yeah, the frame rate's funky again. I think Fraps is just being, just being a dick. Anyway, I showed you how the waypoints are set up and how they work. I'm definitely not going to torture you with watching any more of this. So, uh, I think the next mission I plan on doing is probably going to be to actually fly in some colonization modules from uh, colonizer I think, it's, I think that's what it's called so we'll uh, I'll go over that in a later time because I'm gonna reuse the same rocket but I'm just gonna change the payload I'm gonna need to do some testing before I actually bring it to the end. but once I you know the basically the, the arches were the main mission uh, I should really rescue what's her face down in the uh, she's pretty far away I don't know how I'm gonna accomplish that yet I think I'm probably gonna have to just send a separate rocket for her. I don't really know if I'd be able to pull it off with parts I have here. I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Uh, you know it was neat. Last time it actually sh oh there it goes. I say that last time it actually showed me where it was going. I guess you just have to have the window up in order to see them. Oh, I guess these are the distances allowing you to see or something. I don't know. It's, it's pretty neat. You know, it gives you all the... Uh, you can ch actually change the speed of each leg if you want. And um, it should work out. We'll, we'll see how 10 meters a second works. I'd like to go faster. But I know what that means. It means dropping dead if I... Uh, crashing and blowing up my rover if I push it too fast. So. All right, well, that's it for the Moon Arch mission, finally. I can close that, close the book on that one and uh, go on to the next, which is going to be to, uh, and I could probably skip out of this while it's doing that, it is going to be to somehow get from way up here to way down here and rescue Melcel. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that Maybe I can build a lander or refuel one of my existing landers using carbonite and make it down there. Maybe I'll try doing that instead of launching a new rocket. That would be pretty cool to use my resources here to pull that mission off. So we'll see how it goes. It's going to take at least an hour real time to get back to base. So until next time.